there is still time to fill out the census. If you have not filled out the census yet, please visit my2020census.gov online or you may call 844-330-2020 or you can take a few moments to speak with an enumerator and answer a few questions if they visit your home. There is so much power in filling out the census and there is so much power in being counted and we know that our representation matters. So please, fill out the census today and encourage someone else to do so. Count yourselves and please remember to count your young children. Thank you. Amen and good morning. Welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference Service of Daily Prayer and Song. Today is Thursday, October 15th. We are standing in solidarity with our sisters around the world who are advocating for a world without rape. And whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful that you've joined us this morning. We also would like you to visit our website, sdpconference.info, and we'd also like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And you can do so by texting the letters SDPC to the number 84576. We promise your information is safe with us. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to the service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Time by dialing the number 909-318-7011. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Mark Thompson. Thank you, Reverend Whip. The eyes of the Lord on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil to blot out their name from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Lord, once again, on this morning, we invoke your presence as we gather for our prayer demic against this pandemic and this police demic. Please comfort all those who've lost loved ones. Protect those, dear Lord, on the front line. Protect those in the line of fire and protect those facing the lies of evil elected officials. Bless this Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference as always. Bless our prayer warrior this morning and our minister of music. Please dispatch our ancestors to abide with us and protect us. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, Ashe and Amen. Good morning. We greet you in the Zulu language of South Africa. Sao Bonani, which means we see all of you, we respect all of you, we value all of you. Each and every one of you are important to us, and most of all, each and every one of you matters. Our prayer warrior this morning holds a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science from Arizona State University, a Master of Divinity in Pastoral Care and Counseling from Fuller Theological Seminary, a Master of Arts in Church State Studies from Baylor University, and a Doctor of Ministry from Virginia Union University, Samuel DeWitt Proctor School of theology. She served Friendship West Baptist Church for nearly a decade with the Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Haynes III, who ordained her. She also served Paul Quinn College for seven years as an adjunct professor and as the currently titled Dean of Chapel. She was awarded the Norman Vincent Peale Preaching Scholarship in the Mary McLeod Bethune Religion Award from the National Council of Negro Women. And she is a silver lifetime member of the NAACP. 
She is CEO of Black Millennial Cafe, LLC, a consulting practice and data resource center for Black churches and organizations interested in healthy engagement with Black communities. And she is also currently the lead researcher for Barna Group's State of the Black Church Study. Following our music ministry, once again with our brother, the Reverend Dr. Ozzie Smith Jr. The next voice you'll hear will be that of our prayer warrior this morning, the Reverend Dr. Brianna K. Parker. Hear ye her. Amen. God, we're grateful for the opportunity to come again before your throne of grace. God, as a reminder that you're still on the throne, that you're still listening, that you still care, that you're still working as we work. God, we ask right now that as you've led in the past, you will continue to lead. God, we are in some dark days, uncertain times, but we know, God, that this is not our first go around in this situation and you have always kept us. God, we're concerned with the state of the world right now. God, from disease and illness, to unnecessary disease and illness, to unnecessary death, God, to black people being disproportionately impacted, God, by all the evil in this world. God, we need a reminder, God, that your hand is upon us, that victory, God, is the outcome, 
that even when we don't understand the process, God, that we can play our part, play our position, that the outcome is still going to be victory. God, there are some people who woke up this morning grateful for another day of living. And there are others, God, who were okay if last night was their last night. And so God, for that person who is concerned with today and tomorrow, who aren't sure that this living is for them, I ask that you would send your spirit, God, that you would place people around them, God, who, who will edify them, who will lift them up and not tear them down, who will speak what is true and what is righteous and what is real, God. We ask right now in the name of Jesus that you would cover those, God, who are dealing with mental illness, God. Those who have start, who have started with loneliness, God, in a pandemic, those, God, who are grieving the losses of a pandemic, whether that's financial losses and professional losses, personal losses, God, relational losses, and then family members who have died. God, we ask right now that you would comfort our heart. Your word says you are near to the brokenhearted, God. So for some of us, that means we've been through so much that we have to imagine that you have to be sitting in our lap, God, that you understand not just what we've been through, but where we are. God, we ask right now that you would give us a victory, God. In moments where it feels like all we know is loss and everything is bleak, God, we ask for victory. We ask, God, that you send us reminders, God, that we're loved by you, that you'll make provision for us, and that the people you've placed in our lives are there to lift us up, God. We ask right now in the name of Jesus, clearly God, that you would bless the leaders of this organization, that you would make provision, God, not even always just of resources, but God of time and self-care and love, God. We ask right now that you send more to labor with us, God, so that we can do the work that you called us to do for every organization who's concerned with your people, God who are trying to eliminate disparities, God, advocate on our behalf. We ask right now that you make provision, God, yes, of resources, but God also send people along who will not just labor, but who have the wisdom, God, and strategy to make things a little easier. God, I wanna pray for new leaders right now, people who feel like they were thrust in positions, God, to lead and don't feel equipped. God, I ask right now that you give them mentors, people who will journey alongside of them, who will help them to do your work. God, we know this is a day where, where, there, where unemployment, God, is down. We know, God, that there are many who have found themselves for the first time sitting in food lines who are hungry. God, there are churches living under the threat of being closed that they believe that there's a mission from you, that there's work to be done and that their time is not over. God, we ask that beyond what we think we can do God to make a way that you just show us your miraculous hand. God, we ask right now that for those of us who have hopes and dreams and relationships and jobs, God, that have died, things that we felt were taking too long, God, things that we didn't know if we heard anymore, the things that we no longer had hope for, God, we ask for your resurrection power, that you give us a new hope, God, that we can see things the way you see them, and that we can just simply believe again. Now, God, while we're trying to reach out to hope, God, and hold on to what you said and what you've spoken, God, we also have to acknowledge that we're in a world with the evil government, God. We realize, God, that those who should be journeying with us are warring against us. And so we bind right now everything that, that, that stands up that is not like you, God. We ask right now that you help us to see what is evil even when it looks like a friend. God, we ask that if we have to war, that in any battle, God, we just ask that you are with us. God, we ask that you give us the tools, God, to win the war, God, against our communities, against our children, God, against our churches. We ask, God, that you give us the wisdom that it takes 
to strategize, God, that you give us the imagination to believe, God, that in the end, the outcome is victory. God, we ask that you give us the innovation to be able to see things differently so that we can pivot when necessary. God, we are under attack in ways that we never imagined and some in ways that we've seen before. God, some will say that there are generations who have never seen a win for the community. God, I ask that by your power, we get to see things new. We get to see that your hand is on us, that you're still concerned with the downtrodden, the disadvantaged, God, that you not only have not left us because we don't believe you have, but God, you're concerned with our situation. God, there's a younger generation who doesn't sometimes even realize when there's a win. So we ask that you open up our eyes, that you help us to work and put power behind the things that are already being done that are working for our good. God, that we don't always bring dissension because we don't understand the way, that we understand, God, that different is not deficient. God, that we can understand what it means to unite to do the work that you've called us to do. God, we ask right now that you would bless us in ways that we could not imagine, God, that you would give us a new hope, that you would give us courage to do your work, that you would give us the strength to fight what is evil. And God, just frankly, we need to see something new. November 4th needs to give us something new, God, leaders that we can hold accountable. God, a, a justice that would not take away the rights of your people. God, we need some practical things to happen. And in a moment where it seems like it's been so long since we've seen you move in that area, God, we want to believe that there is something new around the corner, that the work we're doing is not in vain. And that God, not only would we have victory, but God, we're asking for a peace of mind for us and sound mind for them. God, we're asking that you would show us your glory, that you would give us the grace to trust you, that you would give us the flexibility to pivot, the wisdom to strategize, and the belief, God, that this is your will, that you're still on the throne, that you're still concerned with us, that you still love us, that you're walking with us, and that there is a better day. So God, we thank you for what you've done. We're waiting with great, great expectation for what you will do. And we know, God, that the work that we're doing is your work, undergirded by your power. And that all the things, God, that you promised us and all the things that we've seen and, and every prophetic word that we've heard will come to fruition. So manifest your word and your power in Jesus' name. Amen.
The election is fast approaching. The Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, along with other organizations, is actively recruiting English and Spanish speaking poll workers who will be paid for helping to protect and assist those who show up at the polls on November 3rd. Historically, these workers have been over the age 60, and we know that our elders are much more susceptible to COVID-19. And therefore, we're looking for you. We are actively recruiting young people to serve as poll workers and election judges. Visit www.proctorpowerthepolls.com. Again, that's www.proctorpowerthepolls.com today. Early bird registration for the 2021 conference is now open. Listen, I need everyone to go and register for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference next year. The dates are February 22nd to the 25th. The theme for next year is Holy Rage, Holy Hope, Radical Reimagination for Transforming Communities. Listen, I need all of y'all to register and be there. It's going to be virtual, but it's still going to be powerful. Now more than ever, we need to meet. We need to learn. We need to pray. We need to strategize. Register for the conference. See you there. HBCU students, we need a break. We need a place, a safe space, where we can come together to talk about racial injustice, mental health, career planning, financial literacy, discernment, hearing the voice of God. We need a place to discuss the pertinent questions and concerns that we have during the pandemics of systemic racism and the coronavirus. Join us at our kick back HBCU style on October 13th and October 15th as we come together in a safe space, a safe environment to talk about issues affecting HBCU students. Check out the caption or description for details. Your voice matters and we need more unity in this time of division. Thank you so much and I'm excited to see you there. We hope that you will give your attention and support to all of the announcements uh, that you have heard today in our church virtual bulletin. We also invite you to go to Sam, SDB, sdpconference.info to support the work of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, sdpconference.info. Click on the Invest Contribute tab or please find the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference on Givelify. Your donations support the work for justice and vision of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. We're so blessed and so grateful to be in community with you. If all hearts and minds are clear, Dear God, we thank you for our mighty, mighty prayer warrior today. We thank you for our minister of music as well. We're thankful for the Sam DeWitt Proctor Conference and this daily national prayer demic. And now to you who are able to keep us from falling at all times, but especially right now today, amidst this pestilence and the police this Rona and this racism, this Confederacy and the cops. And to you who are able to make us to stand healed from illness, grief and fear in the presence of your glory with rejoicing. Savior, Savior, hear our humble cries this morning. <laughs> While on others thou art calling throughout the day, please do not pass us by. And the people of God said, Ashe and Amen. Folks, have a beautiful and glorious and safe day. See you tomorrow morning.